Who hits harder to you, Anthony Joshua, Ajagbe, or Wilder? Uh, they have different sorts of power, but like I've 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 got to give it to Deontay Wilder. Wow. Yeah, he's 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 something different, man. Hi, this is Joe Cortez. You're watching Showbiz, The Adult. Oh, this is Bernard Hopkins, Showbiz, The Adult. I'm out. What's up, my people? This is Showbiz, The Adult. All right, man, look at who we got here. We got to read the Tyson mail for my man right here. <laughs> My man, Junior Fah, the WBL Oriental Interim Champion. What's going on with you, Junior Fah? How you doing? Oh, man, I'm doing very well. Thank you so much for, uh, thank you so much for chatting to me. Yeah. I'm looking forward. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, now, look, man, I'm telling you, you did a beautiful thing because the whole boxing world is starting to go a little bit crazy about what you said. You opened up the window a little bit. You let us in with <laughs> Hey, look, look, it's real. No, 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 no. Listen, Junior, listen to me. It's been, <laughs> it's been, uh, uh, you know, this conspiracy after this one, this one. You have given one of the more solid things because Deontay Wilder, he hasn't said much about what happened, but he did say that he had to get surgery on his arm and you actually gave something solid. Yeah, he hurt his arm at the end of training camp. Because you mm -hmm. were a part of his camp as a, as a sparring partner, you, you don't understand how valuable that was, honestly. But, <laughs> but before we get into that, I want the world, the boxing world, to know who you are, Junior Fire. Oh. Um, now, picking up uh, the WBO interim, uh, Oriental interim championship, last fight against Vargas, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how was that? Mm -hmm. How did you feel about that? I mean, is that one step closer to actually fighting for a championship? How do you feel about that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, you know, we are getting closer and closer to that world title shot, which is exactly what we want. But it's exactly what, like, you know, every single fighter wants. So, um, like, you know, I'm just glad that I got that belt and I got a high ranking with that belt as well. So uh, with that with, with that fight being last year, that was uh, pretty cool. But then coming into this year, with the whole pandemic thing going on, it's just completely slowed things down again for me. So, like, you know, so it was... It was cool to get that belt, but now there's like not too much I can do with it right now, right. because like you know because I'm stuck here. But I do have a big fight coming up, um, which is soon to be finalized. So wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Can you tell us who tell us who it is, or are you just going to keep it to yourself? You keep it to yourself. Huh? No, no, no. So yeah, um, yeah. So, so there's been been talks between me and Joseph Parker. Let's the, go! Uh... I knew it. Oh, no, no, no. I'm breaking this bell. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. You guys fought more times in a little bit. We ain't getting into that, but go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, so um, yeah, so with the with the whole pandemic thing going on, there's not too much we can do outside our country. So right. why not fight the people that's inside of our country? I'm I'm in the top ten of the WBA rankings. He's in the top ten of basically every sanctioning body. Yeah. So why not fight? Why not fight? Like. Um, to me, this fight is a bit early, but it's basically what's there because I can't really fight anyone else that's that's credible in in this country except for Joseph Parker. Yeah, well, when you say a little bit early, you mean by just the fact that you're 19 and oh, you want to get more fights in, or what do you mean by a little early? Um, a little bit early, just to kind of raise my raise my. Uh, raise my profile a bit because yeah. people here know Joseph Parker. They, they love Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker is an ex-world champ. He has done major things in boxing. Not too many people know about me. So that's the only reason why I say it's early is because the, the profile is not there. So people see Joseph Parker. He's up here. People talk about Junior Farr. They're like, who? So yeah. like, you know, so, so that's basically what I wanted to do was just to get some credible fights in. So what's, so it's more of like an even playing field or like closer to. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, now, hold on. This is our job. Now, this is allow the show business adult community to do their job a little bit here. When we talk yeah, about yeah. Junior Fa and who, we're going to have to let you know who you are. You uh, talking about potentially sharing the ring with Joseph Parker. Now, yeah. that wouldn't be your first time now, would it? How many times have you shared the ring with Joseph Parker and amateurs? Uh, four times in the amateurs. Yes. <laughs> and what, y'all, you what, y'all tied up 500, two for two? Two for two. That's what I'm saying. This is a tiebreaker. Yeah, You're yeah. a bad boy. Now, forget about people knowing. And this is, this is what I'm talking about. When everyone was shocked by Alexander Pavek and knocking out Dillian White, I was more so like, okay, yeah, you're shocked because, wait, you don't know him as much as you know Dillian White. As for myself, yeah. he's as good, if not a better fighter than Dillian White. It's one thing for people to know who Junior Fi is. It's another thing to know that he should be sharing the ring with Joseph Parker. Yeah. It's, two separate, it's two separate things there. Now, let's yeah. talk about your, your amateur a little bit. You shared the ring with Joseph Parker a million times. You fought mm. Usyk in the World Series of Boxing, yeah. right? Yes. Uh, haven't yep. you fought uh, a Jogba? Haven't you fought him as an amateur or something like yes. that? Yes. Yep. No, yep. Yo. <laughs> so, yeah. okay, as far as your, your talent, your footwork, your height, your hand speed, we'll talk about all that stuff in a minute, the way you throw great combinations and everything's with form. I want to know who was your toughest opponent as an amateur between F.A. Ajay Bay, Oleksandr Usyk, and Joseph Parker? Or Usyk. is there someone else? Usyk is, Usyk? is the best boxer I've ever seen. Wow. Yeah, 100%. He is, he's, yeah, he's very technical, hard to hit, very cat like, you know, very cat like. He uh, knows the distance well, very good southpaw, and very good reflexes. So, yeah. When I went into the ring with him, I, I wasn't, I wasn't too sure what to expect, um, but, but yeah, man, he gave me a big shock, you know, in terms of his technical skill, very good footwork. Okay, now how about his power though? Because a lot of people are concerned, you know, he's going to take on Derek Chisora soon, and you know, is he a true heavyweight? We've heard whispers like that before with Evander, the real deal, Holyfield, who, who end up becoming a goat in the heavyweight division of all time, true legend. Yeah. Uh, now you, you're a big guy. You're six five. You know you're throwing, you know, punches as a big man. As far as Oleksandr Usyk, do you think he? Did you feel any of his power? Did he pack a punch? Uh, not so much. You know, he's um he's not really considered a big a big puncher anyway. So uh yeah, so the power's not there so much. But he but 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 he more than makes up for it in terms of his skill and his speed and his reflexes. Eh? So. Uh, so, yeah, so with him not being the biggest puncher, he is still the best boxer that I've been in the ring with. Wow, wow. And how about <laughs> another chance at getting at him as a professional? Now, in, uh, in, as an amateur, he did beat you, right, as an amateur? Yeah. Yeah. I, know you, I, yeah. I know you want a little get back, don't you, Junior Fox? <laughs> For sure. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> really, 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 like, I want to get to the top and I want to fight the best fighters I can. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Now, when I was looking at your tape, and I've, I've seen before, really, I, to be honest, I got on you late. What really got me was that fight you had with Dominic Gwynn. You were beating the guy, but then something happened. He dropped you. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah. uh-oh. Now, I think, yeah. did, did he drop you once or twice? Did you get knocked down once? Or? Once. You got, right, you got knocked down. Now, you pulled out the unanimous decision, and I'm, I'm looking at yeah. you. I'm like, this guy got great feet for your height. You're 6'5". But you have great feet, uh, a great jab, a great left hook to the body, a beautiful uppercut. And what I really like about you when it comes to your size is you can string together punches well. Now, I often criticize, I mean, who I think is the best heavyweight in the world and Tyson Fury. I do think he's the best heavyweight in the world. But his one and two, nice. When it comes to four and five, he gets a little sloppy. You, you keep your form. And when you were talking about Usyk, mm -hmm. You, you talked about how good he is technically. When I think of Joseph Parker, I think of a highly skilled fighter. Now, with you being 6'5 and, you know, your size and everything, it seems to me that you're more concerned about technique than anything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, you know, I think, um, I think if you work on your technique, I think that's the best thing to, uh, to basically go about the sport because speed and power mostly comes with it. So there's no point, like, thumping away at a bag because like because you know first you have to land that punch so if if you if you can't land that punch then like you know what's all the power in the world gonna like help you with so yeah so for me it's just about the fundamentals and just 
making sure that I'm always in a good place to land a shot or to uh, or to block a shot or to move. Right. Now, that is why you were a great person to bring into Team Wilder when trying to prepare for somebody like Tyson Fury, someone who knows the angles, mm-hmm. understands technique, understands the game, know how to be slick, know how to bait you into things. And that's exactly what you're talking about. Real quick, just curious, would Team Wilder be bringing you in for this third fight in preparation for Tyson Fury? Um, it'll be it'll, it'll be quite hard to say because of this whole pandemic thing going on. Um, right. It'll be quite expensive if you're trying to get someone from outside of your own country. So I won't be surprised if I'm not caught up. But then again, if they're looking to fight at the end of the year, I probably won't go anyway. Um, right. Because uh, because the possibility of me fighting Jason Parker will be at the end of the year. So I'll be 100% focus on that. Yeah, absolutely. Now, let's let's talk about this and let's have a little bit of fun here. If, if you don't mind, we're going to have a little fun here. Now, yeah. you've sparred, of course with Deontay Wilder. Now, to me, I think that you've been in the ring with, in one form or another, against the best heavyweights in the world. You've sparred with Deontay Wilder. Like I said, you've had your amateur fights with Usyk and F.A. Ajayi and Joseph Parker. But you've Mm. also sparred with Joe Joyce. You've also sparred with Anthony Joshua. And here's my question. Let's let's have a little fun here. First... Yeah. No, 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 no. First, Good. who hits harder to you, Anthony Joshua, a jog bay, or Wilder? Uh, they have different sorts of power, but like, I've, 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 I've got to give it to Deontay Wilder. Wow. Deontay Wilder. Yeah, he's 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 something different, man. No, no, no. You got, you got to expand on that. Wait a minute. So it's not just uh, – now, we've seen the knockouts. They look crucial. It's not just yeah. the height. It really hurts. What do you mean by something different? Yeah, it's just – like, it's just that instantaneously, like, like scramble your brain type of power, you know? Some people have – some people have heavy shots where you feel the shot, and then, like, you're like, like oh, damn, that is a good shot. But then when you feel her shots, it's like, bing, it's like straight away. It's just buzzing straight away. What? Yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really want to call it heavy, but obviously it's heavy because he's, because he's knocked out so, so many people. But it's just, um, yeah, heck, I don't really have the words to articulate the power, wow. but it is just different. Yeah, it's You different. don't have the words to articulate. Let's get this uh this, this Tyson Bay. <laughs> now now hold on. Now now we said now we're saying uh Deontay Wilder, he punches the hardest. Now, if you were to have, let's say, a tag team, if you could do like a tag team boxing match or something like that with everybody that you've been in the ring with, who would be your tag team partner saying me and this person could be any combination of two boxers out there in the world? Who would be who would be your tag team partner? Hey, I have never even thought of that way. <laughs> Let's hey, talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let me know what you're thinking. I don't know, man. I don't know. This one's a. Uh, this one just blows up your brain, type of thing, you know, because there's so many good fighters out there. Hard to say, man. I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't say because there's so many factors to fights, you know. There's so right. many factors to fights, right. and it's hard to, you know, hard to point one out over the other. So. No way, you know what? Email me. <laughs> Email me your answer. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, <laughs> so, okay, all right, all right. So, so here's the thing. We, we're going to talk about uh, this uh, Deontay Wilder thing right now since it's, it's a big thing. Now, you said that uh, you were aware of his injury uh, towards the end of the training camp. How did you come aware uh, of his injury? Um, I, po- I probably can't go into too much the other detail okay. in that one to be completely honest yep so uh yeah so for that one i was yeah i was just aware i was just aware of it right i was just aware of it right and yeah. it was and it was something happened close. no go ahead yeah yeah very close very close very close so yeah so as soon as that happened i think there was a bit of panic you know because we weren't too sure on the the extent of the injury so yeah so i think everyone was just like oh crap 
like is it the fight over or is it like not that bad or is it like like you know I, um yeah i'm not too sure how how bad it was all i know is that it just looked bad <laughs> right right and and here's the thing were you even were you shocked when he went on with the fight were you like man if that were me i probably would have waited a little bit or at least pushed it out some was it shocking uh it wasn't shocking too much um just because like you know because to cancel a fight um like two weeks out or like a week out isn't really heard of so I I kind of I I kind of knew that Deontay Wilder will still go with the fight anyway because of just the tough person he is, you know, um, like yeah yeah like you know tough man and then if if you're the one with the belt you will still kind of show up anyway so it's like yeah so so for the fight still continuing to go through it didn't really shock me to be okay. honest because of like you know because he's the champion so. Yeah, yeah, I, I like I like that you said that because of I, I've said this before on my channel. I've known Deontay Wilder uh, many times to expose an injury that he had after the fight, not before the fight. Deontay Wilder yeah. very seldom does he say, "Hey, I have this," and he had talk about some, you know, kind of put that in in the uh, uh, the fans' mind when when watching the fight. He lets you know yeah. afterwards that I had a stomach flu, I tore my bicep, I broke my hand, Chris Ariola. So it wasn't yeah. shocking to me to know that he went through with the fight. Now, the question is, and not to take anything away from Tyson Fury, I think Tyson Fury is a bad boy. I think Tyson Fury game plan uh, had a lot to do with him beating Deontay Wilder for sure, especially coming in as a big man. But when he was pushing Deontay Wilder and he was being assertive and he was being aggressive, did you start thinking about that injury? Like, I don't know how Deontay Wilder is going to get 270 something odd pounds or off of him. He can't, how, how would he be able to get him up? Did you think about the injury at all? Or were you like, it's more so game plan than anything? Yeah, for me, it was just more so of the game plan, you know? Um, yeah, as soon as the fight like started and as soon as, um, as soon as the fight started to unfold and you see what, um, what Tyson Fury was trying to do, that just, that just really got me thinking, oh man, this is going to be a hard night for Deontay Wilder. Like, you know, I was like, oh crap, man, this is going to be a hard night. Tyson Fury has come to, to, to bloody play, man. Holy crap. Right, man, right. He's been playing no game, so. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so, yeah, so I think I'm the same as you, you know, I, 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 I give more credit towards Tyson Fury's game plan than yeah. anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And have you, when you sparred against Deontay Wilder, um, and I, like I said, you have some ama amazing feet, Junior Fa. really. As a big man, your feet is just, you're going to be a nightmare for whoever you go up against. Joseph Parker already knows. People who don't know, um, you're going to be a nightmare for him. There's not a guy your size that can move like that other than the likes of, you know, uh, Tyson Fury. Um, but like I said, good hand speed. You throw a great variety of punches. You're going to be a nightmare. All right. So my thing is going against Deontay Wilder, sparring against Deontay Wilder um, and knowing what you can pull off. I'm pretty sure um, looking at it from that perspective while watching the fight, you're like, oh, because... <laughs> I've been in the ring, been in the ring with Wilder. I know that probably works better uh, than not. Uh, yeah. But with you saying how powerful Deontay Wilder, how powerful his punch is, did you still think it was crazy for Tyson Fury to try to implement that game plan? A little bit, um, but I feel like Tyson Fury kept it, uh, like you know, he kept it sensible. You know, he 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 still um, he still came into the ring as the bigger man, as the taller man as well. So that also works to his advantage as well because uh because like you know for for uh Wilder his the length of his arms and the length that he can, he can get his punches across the ring I think plays a big factor towards his his um power so um so I think Tyson Fury was aware of that and he just kept things like you know sensible he wasn't too outrageous with his with his with his game plan of trying to push Wilder back, you know, he didn't go um he didn't come storming forward. So um yeah man, so like at the end of the day I just thought Tyson Fury just you know, he just had a great game plan, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think that's something that's going to show itself again in the third fight? If you were to if you were a bad man <laughs> 
who who would you choose in the fight in the third fight? Who do you think got more of an edge? It's hard to say who's going to win because we know boxing just doesn't work that way. But if you were to mm-hmm. lean in a direction, uh, which way would you lean in a, in this third fight? I think I, I think it's quite hard to deny Tyson Fury because of that great performance that he put on. You know, um, right? So I think. I think in terms of favoring a fight, I would say Tyson Fury will be the more preferred fighter to win this third fight. But then again, you can never, you can never count out Deontay Wilder. He's I... he got that sleeper so many times in his fights. He has showed it. He he will be behind on the cards on every single round, and then just land a good shot and sleep the guy. <laughs> I think that's what makes his fights so interesting. Yeah, yeah. Now, I, I'm so happy that you uh, showed up, and I want to talk a little bit more. My last thing before I let you go, I know you're a busy man, but before I let you go, uh, I do want to talk about your future. Um, I'm excited uh, because, uh, if, in my opinion, and for many other uh, boxing pugilists, they feel that a great amateur makes for a great fighter. Um, mm-hmm. You're undefeated. Nobody should be, no one should be surprised. Anyone that you touch in the ring, as far as share the ring with, I'm not sure if they're going to throw you anything you haven't seen. Like I said, sharing the ring with AJ, sharing the ring with Wilder, yeah. sharing the ring with the Jog Bay. I mean, you've done, I mean, really, you've shared the ring with every type, Usyk. Um, but moving forward, uh, can we have an Andy Ruiz moment where people don't really know who Junior Fi is like that? Then you go up against Joseph Parker. All of a sudden, <laughs> people start to bring magazines on you in the top five, top six. What do you think about that? I see you smiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. I mean, like you know, I think, I think that's that's what gets me most excited about this fight is that people don't really know me. So me beating Joseph Parker will shock a lot of people. It won't shock everyone, but but. But it'll shock a lot of people, and then like the treats that come from that, like um, like uh, the exposure and the rankings and the uh, and the uh, possible title shots from that is a huge, huge uh, payout for a risky fight like this. So I am looking forward to it. You know what? We are absolutely excited, and I want everybody who's watching to. Throw Junior Five name in there. You got you talk about Daniel Dubois. You talk about Usyk. Now you throw Junior Five in there. Now you have Andy Ruiz, and I mean the heavyweight division is starting to really get loaded. And we're talking about we've been missing the days of the '90s and stuff like that. Can we have that resurgence um, now? Yeah. You know, absolutely. Now um, here's the thing. I just want everyone to know what date are we talking about? I know your people in New Zealand, they probably kind of know a little bit more than we do, but I just want us to know in the States what to look out for. What are we looking about? Look at like, date that we're looking at for you versus Joseph it'll Parker. Be, it'll be towards the end of the year. So uh, could be like early or mid December, I'd say. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Junior Fod, thank you so much, man, for coming out. And if you can come back, especially around the time when you're going to take on your next fight, whomever it is, hopefully it's Joseph Parker. And even afterwards, if you can come back to the show, that'd be absolutely great. Oh, man. Anytime, man. Anytime. I enjoyed myself. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. And don't forget to email me, your tag team partner. <laughs> <laughs> Show biz, no, don't. I'm out.